from NBC News. This is Today. This morning on Today's Classroom, turning inner city kids into 7th Avenue designers. Our national correspondent Tiki Barber is here with more about an ambitious program stitched together just four years ago. Tiki, good morning good to morning, you. Good morning, Meredith. Imagine creating a car, a watch, or a sneaker from sketches that you scribbled in your high school notebook. Sounds more like a designer daydream than designer fashion. But for some talented teens, all it took is a little sweat equity. We, we designed design this. this. I designed this, this, and this jacket. This inspired this. And I made this. Design is a way of life for these New York City students. They're part of a nonprofit program called Sweat Equity Enterprises, or C, which gives inner city teens a hands on education into the world of design. Co founded by former graffiti artist turned fashion artist Mark Echo, the man behind several urban apparel lines. Now, I remember when I was 14, 15 years old and sitting there and sketching, like when I got a pair of Jordans and, and like I'd open the box and the glue, the smell from like the, the midsole and the rubber and oh, it was amazing. And, it, and I'd sit there and I'd sketch a Jordan, I'd sketch my own sneakers, but it, it was an abstraction on how it was made. And a program like this really kind of says, well, if that interests you, maybe that that is your entryway to learn all this other stuff that you're going to need to, to succeed in life. I've been like drawing her since ninth grade, and I'm a senior now, so I'm kind of attached to her. The four-year-old program partners students with professional designers. They've worked for companies as large as Skechers, Nissan, and Radio Shack. C is a lot like The Apprentice meets Willy Wonka. So we try to give the students as real a professional experience as possible. If you're comfortable doing what you're doing, then you're not challenging yourself. Their latest endeavor is with New Era, which produces hats for Major League Baseball, the NBA, and NHL. My brother Rondé and I even appeared in a New Era ad 11 years ago. Currently play in a New Era. So here's their blank slate. They need to research what is working in the market, what the consumer wants, what's hot, and they develop it all the way through to a concept. Now what's the and standard like? This is a real professional design studio, so they need to create something that can go to market and will do well. And when you first sat down at a desk for the very first time and they said, design something, what was going through your mind? <laughs> <laughs> And with one item on the shelves at Macy's, this group has already gained designer street cred. A watch called the Eclipse, designed by student Paul Ayala. The price tag, $200. As I'm walking on the street, I've seen several people wearing it. What do your friends say? Are they hiring? I tell them no. <laughs> yeah, they are. I, I kind of have to tell them that. They, I guess they're a little bit jealous. You know, we got to do things that are real. <laughs> because how many people have designed a car? Or a watch. Or a hat. Or sneakers. Your illustration's getting good. The best way to learn is with these. And the best way to test is by showing with these that you understand. Companies are definitely cashing in on the creative power that comes from these urban outfitters. We are an innovation lab for companies. And if you read the Wall Street Journal, you read any business newspaper nowadays, innovation is the most important thing in business right now. For these students, the rules of the game are to succeed. It's very calm and relaxed at times, but is it competitive too? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone wants to win. Not everyone can win. Now, Meredith, these kids compete, and when they win money, or they earn money also from working here, it goes into a scholarship fund that when they get their letter of acceptance, the check goes to them. And the greatest thing that these kids get is confidence. They learn how to talk to adults and feel very assured of themselves, which is very powerful. And the boy Paul who created this watch was once homeless and a gang member. Yes, so they're was. not just creating designers, they're saving lives. They are saving lives. Thank and you. it's growing. Thank you so much, I appreciate Tiki. It, and up next, the grand experiment underway near Grand Canyon National Park, a first this is today on NBC.